Live outside, it's about 300 degrees today, so I am definitely sweating. You know, even with Amanda Edwards' departure, there are still a dozen people who want to be Houston's next mayor. In fact, this comes suddenly for a lot of people. They even haven't even changed the signs here at headquarters. Still says for Houston mayor. But in fact, Amanda Edwards is now vying for Sheila Jackson Lee's job as a U.S. Congresswoman. And Sheila Jackson Lee's also shaking up the mayor's race. Sheila Jackson Lee wants to come home to be your mayor. Call it the Sheila Jackson Lee effect. The longtime and powerful member of Congress is retiring from that job and now wants to be Houston's next mayor. And it would seem some of her primary opponents, even experienced politicians, like former Houston City Council member Amanda Edwards, are courteously stepping out of her way. We put it to Miss Edwards plainly. You wouldn't get out if you thought you could beat her. Well, I, well, you said it well. Uh, <laughs> you've said it well. I'm certainly Congresswoman has very strong name ID and has a lot of support behind her. Edwards announced Monday she's out of the mayor's race. The Ivy League educated attorney now wants to win Congresswoman Jackson Lee's seat once vacated. And that's not the only swap we've seen since the Congresswoman made her announcement more than two months ago. David versus Goliath. Chris Hollins, who was the Harris County clerk for a short time during the pandemic, withdrew from the mayor's race a little more than a week after Jackson Lee said she wanted to be mayor. Hollins is now seeking to be the city of Houston's next controller. Even with the departures, it still leaves a crowded field in the mayor's race, including state senator John Whitmire whose sister-in-law, Kathy Whitmire, was Houston's mayor during the 80s. Another former Houston City Council person, MJ Kahn, is still in the race for mayor. By the way, the last time that there was a Republican mayor in the city of Houston was back in 1981. That was Jim McCon. He claimed to be a Republican. We're live. I'm in the second ward. Joel Eisenbaum, KPRC, 2 News.